chances of the year to try to make it right you have to see it clear. good morning you saw that I made my coffee first thing this morning. Now I'm headed to the gym to do my workout before I go home to decorate. I'm so excited. I've never done a decorate with me. I've done like home tours of holidays, but I've never done a decorate with me. And I'm so excited about it. We're gonna go through a whole day of decorating the house and then I'll give you a little montage at the end of all of my holiday decorations. I just thought that it would be really fun to spend the day together. I figured I would kind of show you a little bit of the food that I'm eating throughout the day today as well. It is the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm right back to my normal routine. I enjoyed myself on Thanksgiving. I didn't restrict or eliminate anything. I ate a little bit of everything. And then I just get right back to my normal routine. So that's what we're doing today. We're getting our workout in before we decorate. We're gonna do a little bit of self-care, a little bit of skincare when I get home from the gym. And then as soon as Troy gets up, we'll start decorating. I need him to help me get all of the bins down in the garage because they're too high and too heavy for me to reach. So we'll wait for him to get up and we'll start our holiday decorating for the year. So let's get to the gym. Let's get this workout done so that we can decorate. 65 chances of the year To try to make it right You have to see it clear We all need a help in here To put our things aside It's time to take a stand with our eyes open wide and bring out the very best So I went ahead and came home from the gym, did a little skincare. I always do a morning skincare and then I typically have to wash my face after I work out just because I get a little bit sweaty and dirty, especially when I'm walking to and from the gym. So it gives me the perfect opportunity to do a little self-care, a little extra skincare. This happens when I go to boot camp as well. I'm really sweaty and I have to take all my skincare off. So I've been really loving utilizing a second morning skincare routine. And I've been using this from Clavizo a few times a week and I've really been loving it and notice the big difference in my skin. It helps with wrinkles, anti-aging. It just helps plump up the skin. Really love the Clavizo brand. You know, I just recently shared their oral irrigator or their water flosser. I love that. I still use that all the time, but I wanted to pick up a skincare device, something I could utilize post-workout. Like I said, I really am focusing on self-care through the holidays because it always goes to the wayside. We're so worried about the holidays and shopping, we kind of forget about ourselves. So I knew that this would come in handy. And by the way, this little bundle would make an amazing, amazing gift. I'm probably going to be gifting this myself. This is the Clavizo Face and Neck Beauty Wand and it comes with the Turmeric Activating Serum. I really, really like this serum. It feels really nice on the skin. It gives the perfect slip that the wand glides just effortlessly over the skin. So there's no pulling and tugging. We don't want to pull and tug on our skin because it causes us to age a little bit more rapidly and it's just not good for our skin in general. So when I came home from the gym this morning, I used this tool before applying my makeup and the rest of my skincare. This is an all-in-one tool for firmer, clearer, and younger looking skin. It helps sculpt, tighten, lift your cheeks and your jawline. It reverses fine lines and diminishes wrinkles, targets acne, small bumps, and blackheads, improves redness and dark spots and circles. It's completely painless and non-toxic and you get amazing, amazing results, especially when utilizing the turmeric oil. It's also really cool with this bundle is you get this little duo. I've really been loving this as well, the face roller and the gua sha. I use both of these in conjunction with the face tool and it is just like having a spa treatment at home for way, way, and when I say way, way less money. I really love how it revitalizes your skin, gives, erases lines and wrinkles, and helps with aging, lets your skin glow, and I really, really, really love that I can use this on my neck because I do have a little turkey neck from weight loss, and this tool just really helps with my turkey neck and helps just firm up the neck area. The gua sha and the roller, I love leaving this in my freezer, getting it nice and cold, rolling it under my eyes, on my cheeks. This also helps with drainage. These are really, really great tools and they come free with the bundle. There's four different lights. There's the warm light, which is red. That enhances cellular vitality, blood circulation, and collagen growth. There is the blue light, which is skin rejuvenation and anti-wrinkle. The purple light, which helps with fine lines for the neck and the face. And then EMS tightening, which is kind of the gray light. That's intermittent pulses that stimulates skin elasticity. So what I 
I do is every day I use a different light, sometimes red, blue, purple, and gray, just really getting optimal usage out of the tool. And every time I use the tool, I use the turmeric oil. I just rub the remaining oil into my skin and allow it to soak in. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory, so it's very good for the skin. It's really, really simple to use as well. And I love that you get the turmeric oil as part of the bundle and the free gua sha and skin roller. Normally the bundle right here is $99.99. Right now it's on sale for $69.99 on the website. However, there is a special Black Friday discount. Use the code GENBF for an extra 20% off. It is the perfect time to pick this up for yourself or for a gift. And remember, you're getting the bundle as well as the tool. It's really made a big difference in my skin. With all of my weight loss, we get loose skin, including our face and neck. This has changed my skincare routine. I love it. Again, a great gift for yourself or a great gift for a loved one. And I will have it linked down below with all of the discount information. So the first thing we're going to do is decorate my office. This is one of my favorite parts of decorating for the holidays. I actually decorate all of my bookshelves back here with Christmas decor. I put up a little tree in my office and it just brings me so much joy. I spend a lot of time in here, several hours every day. So having it be holiday and peaceful and festive, just it, fills my heart with so much joy. So let me show you what we're working with decoration wise. So the tree for my office is actually in the garage. So I have not got that yet. I'm gonna have Troy get that down off the racks. I'll show you kind of how we store everything, but I actually have three bins of decor. This one is pretty much everything that goes on my little tree. And then these other couple of bins are the decorations for my bookshelf. So currently they're decorated for fall, decorated for Thanksgiving. So we're actually going to do these two white bookshelves fully. This little shelf over here I typically decorate, but this goes away and my tree goes right in this corner and it just fits perfectly and is beautiful in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is start taking down all of the Thanksgiving decoration. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman so i'm going to keep the candles i always have the candles in my background i'm going to do a quick wipe down of the shelves i'm going to clean this little shelf off we usually just put this shelf in our spare bedroom i also need to take down this guy and all of this will just get stored in the spare bedroom and then i kind of laid out all of the decorations it just helps me go through them and place them in the room a little bit better. So one of the first things I like to do is hang up my little felt Merry Christmas banner and I put it right across the bookshelves. And then I have some snowflake lights that I bought this year. I'm gonna put those up and I actually put lights on my window. So that's the first thing that I want to do. So I'm untangling these Christmas lights and it is 9.48. So I started about 10 minutes ago. So let's say 9.30 a.m. Let's see how long this takes me. I have a feeling between decorating my office and the rest of this house, it's going to be an all day deal. I'm so excited. I have my Merry Christmas banner up with the little snowflake lights. They were long. I got these on Timu this year. They were in a recent haul. They're really long. They fit really nicely on a window, but I just kind of dra drape them down the side. Oh, it's so cute. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with the smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform. Okay, I'm loving this. So here is kind of how I laid out the bookshelves. I love it. I can change the days till Christmas on the little Santa. I love this big tall tree down here. I think it's so cute on the bottom shelf. And then I did this cute little belief sign and bottle brush tree on that middle shelf and then finished off the rest of the decorations. I mean... Santa's nice list. I just think it turned out really, really good. There are a couple of things that I put on my desk as well. Another countdown till Christmas and then turning on the candles just adds like the perfect ambiance to the background. I did take that little shelf and put it in my spare bedroom so that we can set the tree up. 
I also pulled out my Santa hat. Sometimes I like to wear this in videos. I have a Christmas Apple Watch band, and then I have a couple of a different cute little reindeer hair clips. I actually do wear those pretty regularly throughout the holidays. And then here is that Days Till Christmas countdown with chalk. I usually set this on my desk, and then I have a snow globe that I got from a subscriber way down in there in the box of ornaments. So I'm gonna unpack this so that I'm ready for the tree, and then these lights right here go up on this window, which I'm probably gonna need Troy for. So here's all the decorations for the tree that goes in my office. I usually put up all of our family decorations on the tree in my office because our tree in our living room, which you guys will see is a little bit more rustic. It's flocked. We have a lot of rustic type of ornaments. We actually bought them when we were in Washington, but we like them. So we continue to use them here in Arizona, but it is a little sad because there's a lot of ornaments for diesel. Like here's one from 2012. Diesel was actually born in 2011. And then all of our family ornaments that have have diesel on them and then of course the paw print that just makes me really really sad uh, that was diesel's paw print from 2019 so if you didn't know we last lost our lab this year in March so this is our first Christmas without him it was our first Thanksgiving so it's a little sad I miss him we're still gonna put his stocking up because he's still here in our hearts and watching over our family but Although it's sad to see all the diesel ornaments I'm actually really excited to have them on my tree in my office and just relish in all the amazing memories of him throughout the holidays. And then I found my card holder. So this actually goes on the back of my door. I need to get a little command hook and I hang this up. We do a Christmas card exchange in my Facebook group and I hang all the cards from you guys here. It's one of my favorite parts of the holidays. All right, we're ready for Christmas cards. I actually have the Christmas card exchange posted in my Facebook group right now. So make sure you're part of my Facebook group so you can take part. It literally brings joy to my mailbox every day. I have these cute little colored paper clip things. No, what are these called? Laundry clips. You know what I'm talking about. These little clippies. It came with my little card holder. I think I bought this off of Etsy. So I just leave the little clips in here and then every time I get a card, I clip it to the strings and literally this is full every year. Also, we have a Christmas vacation moment with these lights. These have these little dangly things that fall from them. They're a pain and I thought I was really careful putting them back in the bin last year. These are the ones that actually get hung up on the window. I'm feeling like Christmas vacation in here. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I was able to get them detangled. They are hanging in the window. You're not gonna be able to see them very good. So pretty at night. And I got these off of Amazon. They're just USB. And then you just flip them on and off with the little button and you can change the way that they flash. And then I've got these on my desk. So my little countdown to Christmas. And then I got this really pretty kind of snow globe from one of my subscribers a few years ago. It's USB. So I just plugged it into the back of my computer. All right, here she is. Troy brought in the Christmas tree. He's having some breakfast and then we'll go get the rest of the decoration. So let's put her up. So I added bulbs. That's usually the first thing I do is add the Christmas balls. That way I can kind of space them out nice and even. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the gaps with some of these larger ornaments. And then I do have a few Christmas balls left if I need them, my tree skirt, and then last we'll throw on the topper. All right, time for the top. All right, there it is. I'm going to clean up all of the flocking. That's all over my floor and all over the tree stand. Look at that. And this tree actually doesn't do too bad with mess. And then we're going to put on the tree skirt. Tree skirt is on and the tree is done. It looks amazing. I love it. It makes me so happy. We have so many special ornaments on the tree in here. Like I mentioned, all of the ones for our family. We typically get an ornament every year. We actually got one in Sedona this year. We were doing where our family was on here when we lived in Washington because Leavenworth, you could customize them and have, you know, personalized ornaments. We also have commemorative ornaments for Troy's mom who passed away during COVID. And then we have special ornaments like this angel here and this little sleigh for Troy's sister who passed at the age of 12. So we always have special 
ornaments on this tree. And then of course, we have the most important special ornaments and those are the ones for diesel. So this tree just makes me happy. It's just packed with memories, packed with everything about our family, all the things that are of course important in life. So like I said, just being in here so many hours a day, this just brings me so much Christmas cheer. Coffee break before we move to the main part of the house. All right, I got my Christmas music on. Next thing is to take down all of the fall decor. I should say Thanksgiving decor. I'm going to take it all down. I started a little bit after Thanksgiving and took down the stuff that was on the table. We had to remove it all to play a game anyways, but I have all the stuff here on the counter. What I do is put everything here on my kitchen island and then put it into bins and then we'll go out in the garage, grab all of the Christmas bins and I do the same thing. I set everything out like I did in my office so I can see everything. All right, Thanksgiving is down. Let's head out to the garage and grab the bins for Thanksgiving and the multiple Christmas bin. So we pulled the tree out of the garage and then that is the bin with all of the ornaments. Our little chair comes out of this corner and this is where we put our Christmas tree every year. And then I have this huge bin. This is the only bin of decorations. I told Troy that he's, some people have 10, 20 bins. I have one. She's full and she's big and she has all my Christmas decorations with Tree's done. Yeah, Troy says tree. What was that? The tree's done. Oh, oh, is that it? That doesn't look so good. Yeah. Do you, do you topper? Yeah, I need a topper. <laughs> and a tree skirt. <laughs> and then we got our light up tree from Cracker Barrel, which I love. And then this is some new stuff from Timu. I ended up getting a runner, an apron, this little flag for outside, and some rugs. So let me get everything out of this bin so we can see what we have. All right. Holy moly. We just took down the rest of the stuff that gets put away for the holidays. And here is what we're working with. We have a lot of decorations. That bin is huge. Like I said, there may only be one, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. So I am kind of going through things. We have a separate bin for ornaments in the tree, but I've been kind of going through things, kind of figuring out where I want it. I kind of remember where I put everything last year. So I'm going to try to duplicate that. So here's where I'm at so far. We always hang our stockings here. We did decide to put Diesel stocking up, even though he's not with us because he's still part of our family. So we have our stockings mm -hmm. up and then I have my little table done. This tree actually lights up. I'll show you guys at night with everything turned on. And then I did some garland down on the bottom with this, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And then I have this little burlap sack. And then I did my kitchen table. This is a runner I actually just got from Timu. And then I did these cute little three snowmen and some candle holders on my table. Here's what I have left for decor. I'm still working. I've put a few things by our bathroom, our spare bathroom, because there's a table that I decorate. I've also put a couple things for other living room. Oh, and then let me show you guys. I did pull out all of my Christmas pillows. So there's one. Palmer, do you need something out of the laundry? Tell daddy you need something. And then I put these here on the bench. And then this, I put this up here every year. It's so cute, my little gnome with my Merry Christmas and my bottle brush tree. And then I'm starting with this room. I have the pillows on the couch. This garland goes on the table behind me. And then I so far have my little warmer that has Christmas scents in there and this super fun tree. So we have the tree up, no decorations yet. So I thought I'd show you what the tree looks like. I love it because it's flocked and it's pre-lit. I'm having two little ham and cheese sliders. I took one slice of cheese, divided it amongst my two little rolls. These are just dinner roll size. That way I have some energy to get started on the rest of the house. So our tree is done and decorated. It looks really, really nice. We do have a bow that we just put on top. We had to do some repairs to some of the ornaments just from the Arizona heat. The glue sometimes pops off, at least that's what we think. But the tree looks really, really nice. I will of course show you guys the entire little montage once it gets dark out. So I put a cute little wreath on my door. You guys saw that I hauled this in a Ross Hall in my What I Eat in a Day. And then we have just a few decorations outside. So I have my little joy sign. I got this several years ago at Kohl's. And then we put this cute little snowflake up on a little command hook right outside our door by the joy sign. And then I have my little Merry Christmas rug from Timu. It's so cute. And then I always put 
this like wooden tree, kind of rustic tree. So this is what the front door looks like. Our front door is hidden from the street. You can't even see it unless you walk up. But when people do come up, there is the decorations and the wreath on the door. And we put this cute little snowman where we have no snow <laughs> that says Merry Christmas. And I have this cute little Merry Christmas flag also that I got from Timo. My plan is to buy some other holiday flags and then we can put this out for most of the year. I'll probably end up putting it where the snowman was, but it's really cute here. It's actually kind of by our driveway. And then, hello. <laughs> and then the holiday wreath that we usually put on our front door, we put here because we won't be able to put it on our front door now that we have that custom screen door. And we didn't want to put it and have it scratch the door. So I use suction cups and it is perfect. This is actually the window to our garage, our one car garage. And this is the view from the street. So you can actually see it even from the street. And then walking down the sidewalk, there's my and then the Merry Christmas. And then as you can see, our door is pretty tucked back, but that's all we did on the outside. Pretty quick, pretty simple. you enjoyed this decorate with me I had a lot of fun decorating I will tell you it is 3 15 so that's how long it took us I would say that I took about a half an hour break to eat that lunch but other than that we have been go 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 I still have one more thing to hang up outside but it has been a day but the house is decorated it looks amazing I hope you enjoyed the little montage at night so you could see everything lit up and you'll get lots of views of my office of course throughout the month of December in all of my videos so thank you again for hanging out with me today don't forget to subscribe turn your bell on so you don't miss any Christmas content I do upload five videos every single week check out that description box for nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things and don't forget to join our Facebook group for for the Christmas card challenge as well as all of the other fun throughout the holidays. Happy holidays friends. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.